Hi there, this is Mike Cobb, Nearly Enough Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, why am I not? Uh, well, when I say space, I mean airplane. Uh, why? Oh, I've throttled down for some reason. That was really weird. Really weird and potentially really bad. Um, I am flying off to the north. Uh, I'm trying to get to these things here, which are temperature um, reading. Oh, I actually set those being extra navigation. Oh, hang on, did I, did I, have I just entered the thing? Hang on, uh, I think I just got the notification that I've entered, um, I'm not sure if I did, if I just, I don't know if that was me entering... No, I can't. I'm, I'm very far away. Um, right, I'm going up very, very fast at the moment. And heading toward... Right. Anyway, I'm trying to get to do these temperature scans um, at very high altitude. And I haven't got that satisfied. Uh, it wants one done at over 17,000 uh, meters, which is quite a lot actually, when you think about it. So I'm just trying to get myself a little bit more towards... the uh, indicator, which is uh, very handily um, almost impossible to see. Well, I'm having some, some stability issue at the moment. I wonder... I wonder it's not because my centre of mass is now very different. Because I've burned so much fuel. I'm wondering if I have enough time to pump some fuel forwards. Right, now, okay. Aha! Aha ha! I'm now entering the right zone. I need to find the thermometer. It's dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. That's really annoying. Uh, where's the thermometer? Oh, I love the pressure data right in here. Uh, where's the thermometer? Where's the thermometer? Ah, we need the thermometer, I can't see it! There it is. Ah, oh, come on. Log temperature. Log temperature. Key data. Okay, right, now. The last time I did this... Uh, so I'm going to now set this as my target. Now, last time I did this, I fell out of the sky more or less immediately. Uh, the moment I um, succeeded, and I am now wondering if it's because my my centre of mass was so far forwards. Um, I 
So I'm going, going, I'm going to go to beta now. Um, so I'm now going to do is I'm going to throttle down a little bit. I'm going to basically try and land. At which point this will stop being a jet plane and start becoming a science rover. At least that's the plan. Um, I'm going to quick save as well. I have had the world's worst time trying to get something recorded today. Uh, I'm doing much better than I have been. Right. Basically, things have been crashing, the game's been crashing, uh, various things I've tried to make have failed, sometimes because I'm an idiot, which is, which is fair enough. Am I going to overshoot that? I don't know. Um, Yeah, sometimes it's been my own stupid fault, like at one point, um, because of the way I'd constructed my air, my rocket that I was trying to, to get off the ground. Um, I actually managed to have the whole thing upside down, so every time I launched the rocket it would attempt to slam itself into the earth, because it thought it was upside down, so uh, that was fun. Um, I've been having trouble at the moment. My, my current thing is I'm trying to launch a thing with many docking ports, docking ports all over the place, in such a way that it won't, in fact, fall apart uh, when I do this. Uh, let's level out a little bit. And in fact, let's de-throttle a little bit more. Uh, fortunately, I've got my fl I've got the flight engineer redux thing. Um, mod, which um, I am hoping is going to help me a great deal. Uh, looks like I'm going to not overshoot, which is probably a good thing. So I will go a little bit this way. Ah, oh, I see, that's underneath me because it's actually over the curve of the Earth, so I probably don't need to be crashing, I mean landing right now. That's all right. But here's a good, I mean, I don't know that it's a particularly bad place to, to land. It is quite nice. I'm getting a nice vertical speed indicator because of the flight engineer. Um, it's all very cool. Yeah, other things I've been, I've been, I tried to make uh, a plane with more engines on it so I get here quicker because it's, as you can see, it's been like 30 minutes of flight. I've fast forwarded through a lot of it. Um, but it's actually very difficult to get a plane that would more or less fly straight enough. Well, it seems to be very difficult to get this, I don't know whether it's this plane in particular or whether it's planes in general, getting it to fly, uh, you know, straight and level. Uh, was, shall we say, entertaining. Oh, I should chuck some more fuel in the front. What if I should pay attention to where, where my aircraft's going? Um, no, I actually think I do want to start going down there. I mean, basically, my, my mode is either going up a lot or going down a lot. Um, it seems quite hard to just uh, go more or less straight level. Some of it, I wonder if it's simply the way the game is modelling things. You've got a curved planet, and then every time if you go straight, it'll say, oh, you're going down, you're going down, you're going down, you're going up, you're going up, you're going up. Um, so I need to, you know, continually adjust my my level. I may actually overshoot if I'm not careful. 
let's lose some height. Let's throttle down a bit. Yeah, so I've been having fun with that. Um, just been a really frustrating day today. Uh, my current project that I've been actually trying to work on, um, as you may have guessed from the fact that I'm, I'm saying lots of docking ports, is trying to make some kind of station. It's actually, well, it's actually going to be um, something that will, hopefully, anyway, let's pull up. Yeah, I'm going to overshoot from this thing. Something that um, I can actually land on the moon, do tons of science. That's put my gear down. I'm a bit high up, really, to do gear. Um, land on the moon, do lots of science. And it wants me to be on the ground for this, so I've, I have overshot. I'm going to have to go back and get there. Um on the surface, on the surface, on the surface. I'll land on the moon, do science. Bye bye. Bye bye, beta. Uh, leave the moon and come back again. And um, given my current uh, facilities, I can't do this. Um, so, you know, I have to, I have to uh, build this thing and assemble it in orbit. And I have been working very hard on this. Um, but the last time, the last thing that stopped me from just recording that and, and showing you me lifting that thing off into orbit in the first place is that I'm, the way I'm attaching it to my rocket at the minute. Um, Means that I, I when I was when I was when I detached it, I lost my docking port that on that side, and I uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to you know I'm, I'm I'm new to docking ports docking ports are new to me. Um, I'm still very high up in the sky. I, I quite like that I now have an altitude altitude terrain meter as opposed to over sea level which is extremely handy. Now I'm going to start pulling up, I'm only about 600 meters up. Let's go slightly through. I'm going to have to go quite a ways back to go and find that. But that's okay, I've got tons of fuel. I could probably do with going quicker, even even faster down. Actually, I'm at 640 up and five meters a second down. Going to take a while. Full fuel has got full from the sky, but I'm being very con I'm being very conservative uh, because I don't want to die. I mean, if I was going down at 10 meters a second, that would take me you know 50 seconds to, to smash into the ground. Um, Impact time, nine seconds. So bring, I think I'm going to start panicking again at 200 meters up. I have actually done uh, at least a variety of, I mean, this is a mission I've actually done a couple of times. I'm going to hit F5 again because I'm exceedingly tired of the game crashing. And um, having to, to reload. Not well. I've done. Uh, this is like the third time I've tried this mission today. Fourth and fifth, if you count. Slightly aborted attempts at aircraft with more engines on them, so they go quicker. Uh, that has not worked out well. Um, I initially, I, I thought about because I now have some of the Mark II bits of aircraft.
so you know there, there are there are you know new elements that I can in fact um, add. Oh, you know, yeah, it's all the Mark II fuselage bits. But I just didn't want to spend the time doing yet another round of testing. Uh, and instead I ended up doing all sorts of other testing instead. Uh, like I was like, you know, I will just add another set of engines to this. Um, actually, and I'm thinking, no, it'll be fine. No, it won't be fine. It'll be terrible. Um, let's pull up a little bit. down at one meter a second I like that that feels like this this area is conveniently relatively flat but there's, there's some hills off that way but I don't seem to be heading into any hills this way which is good because I paid absolutely no attention to where I was going I just kind of vaguely pointed myself in the direction how far I'm, I'm going to have to go back a, a huge distance um, but if I land the thing that's more important than anything else Slightly. And plop again. Scroll down a bit more. See, a proper pilot would probably just, oh, man, um, whereas I'm being extremely scared. Here we go, here we go. Oh, of course, it's really aggravating that of course I've landed at the night, which is not clever. Up just the right amount. Yeah, look at that. I'm quite well. I don't think I very cleverly put landing lights on it. I think landing lights came with the, the landing gear, which is where I'm getting those lights from. I'm quite pleased that they're there. I've gone back up again. While I would have quite liked to have had a, a like a, a landing shadow, that that's one of the, the, the handy things when you're landing in the daytime. Hmm, uh, my height is now measured in centimeters. And we are down. I'm gonna start applying the brakes. Completely throw off. And we don't seem to be breaking. I'm just going to stand on the brakes now. There we go. Land. Now, how far away am I? Lots. Right. Brilliant. Uh, I'm. I'm an excellent pilot. Uh, work out what, what's the most. What's the closest one now? That one. I'm going to call that one. So we'll just. Oh, I'm actually going backwards. Oh. Right, so I've throttled up a tiny bit. So I'm now going forward. And I have some vague vestige of control. And do you know what? I should really probably wait until it's... Hit five. Oh, you can't hit quick save while moving over the circle. Well, in that case... Let's power down. Stop. Actually, just stand on the brakes. Mm. 
There we go. So now I'm a rover, because I'm not, I mean, I don't, I don't see myself actually taking off it. So. Well, I mean, technically I've got half my fuel left. Um, so theoretically I can even get home, but I'm not, I'm not going to fly home. Um, that seems like too much like hard work. I may have a quick check to see how long it is till daytime. Uh, it's, prob it's probably several months to daytime because I'm in the, the polar circle. Um, so we're just going to have to live with it, I'm afraid. Right, so there, there you can just about see the. Um, the mark on my nav ball from the target. Oh, uh, there's a thing I should check, which is my electric charge, but that's okay. I think I'm actually generating electric charge uh, because of my engines going. So let's do the time war. Very briefly. Let's point myself more in the direction of where I want to go and then time war. I think. I'm going a bit fast actually. Uh, 60 mile an hour. What I don't want to do is accidentally take off. Next, next iteration of this plane is having a light right behind the instrument set, so I don't have this this thing where it's like um, I cannot see the temperature gauge. And it looks like I actually powered down completely, so I actually rushed out the stopping. So how fast is this going to take? How long is this going to take? It's not so much fast. A while is how long it's going to take. Especially since I'm now going the wrong direction. Well, actually, that's uh, it's, a, it's a sign that I'm getting closer. Um, that as you as you approach your target, the difference in in the way you're pointing and where the target is uh, gets bigger and bigger. So it is in fact a good thing. Good thing everything's nice and flat up here. Otherwise, you know. Could be a problem. Oh lord, it's still I'm still forever away. Uh, that's good speed. Oh, it basically stopped. Oh no, it just doesn't know what my. I was looking at my my horizontal speed, not my vertical speed. Oh, changed again. The one thing you don't get with this navigation system, um, it's not like a target where it'll, at least as far as I can work out, you can't ask it, you can't ask the game at any point how close you are to the target. It's kind of there you go. Zoomy zoom. Time warp. Let's do the time walk again. I'll see if I'd been a bit more aggressive. <laughs> if I'd been a bit more aggressive um, with my landing, I wouldn't be having this trouble. <laughs> but 
I was so scared. That thing is frightening. Why do I keep well, turning off the time warp? I understand. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to try and not throttle down this time. I may have to try and add a chaos uh, module that is able to do straight and level flight. Which is in theory a thing you can do. Basically, you know, you, you have a, a controller, a, a PID controller, which basically says how close am I to having a flight of exactly zero, and if my my, my sorry my vertical speed of exactly zero. If my vertical speed uh, goes below zero, then I pitch up. If my vertical speed goes above zero, then I pitch down. And you know, there's all sorts of clever things to do to um, make it make that happen at a reasonable level. No, we must be getting close now. Fast am I going as well? And uh, it's a thing I used to do. I used to, I used to play a game called Robots, uh, which is uh, had some similarities to Kerbal Space Program in that it was basically ooh, scary hill. Uh, it was basically a physics game where instead of making spacecraft, although you could make spacecraft do it, uh, you would make robots. And they could have weapons on them, and, and the idea was eventually you'd you'd make, um, multi, you know, robots that would fight other robots, and other such exciting things. And unfortunately, the game uh, never it got to a rather interesting state. But although you know, like like Kill Space Program, it is it was technically a uh, an early access game. Uh, the difference being it never really um, got working. You know, the, the game comes. Kind of, I, well, I haven't looked at it for a while. It stopped development, so I stopped playing. But it had PID controllers in it, and they're very useful. You can you can make hoverbots. You can give them a give them an altitude, and they'll go at that altitude. And uh, in theory, I could make something like that for um, Kerbal Space Program. I'm not entirely sure if I, you know, necessarily trust my favourite Kerbal to an autopilot I write myself. But, uh, you never know. Certainly, um, it would get around some of the really irritating, constant kind of. I'm going up, I'm going down, I'm going up, I'm going down, which is what I basically fa faced on my long haul to this place. Oh man, next time I'm also going to make rover wheels. And of course there's the up, oh, here we go, right, power down, stand on the brakes. Make sure the power is completely down. Oop. Now, let's see if I can find the thermometer. Nestled snugly between... Yes. And did I put... I'm going to quickly check to see if I've got any... I got all six signs for doing that. There. I rather suspect there's no point doing the pressure data. I think I've done the grassland. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. I've only got two of the seismic things because I couldn't actually. I'd run out, you know, the way I put everything else. I, um. It wasn't easy to.
I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, I, I needed to play, I need to play some symmetry. I don't know if I actually needed to or anything. Um, which way am I pointing? I don't know which way I want to go now. Uh, do you want to go left or right? I think I want to go left. I'd love to be able to spin the nab ball around and see where I need to go. But that's another thing that the, that you don't get. You don't you don't uh, just stand off the back. You don't get to see where the nav where where things are on the nav ball. I'm, I'm not getting it. Like like with the maneuver nav, you get a you get a thing that's pointing. Think okay, this way. Get up. I think I want to go that way. Anyway, I'm going to send. I'm going to, to chase around. But I'm going to find the other ones. I have demonstrated that I can do it. I've also demonstrated that it takes a long time. Um, so I'm going to go off and do that, and I will leave you to get on with the rest of your day. Um, I hope your day is going to be much less frustrating than my day was thus far. Uh, so. Thanks very much for watching. Yeah, hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying the videos. Um, I am Mike and Neil Enough Dice. Neil Enough Dice dot com is our role playing game themed podcast and blog. And uh, until we meet again, uh, you should always remember whatever you do to always try and reach for the stars. <laughs>